Hyundai has climbed up to be one of the, the world's top manufacturers in automobiles, and they're well known for their affo affordability and their great fuel efficiency, like the uh, Hyundai Elantra and the Accent that get about 40 miles per gallon. Uh, what we really wanted to do was showcase the brand's new quality, reliability, and performance to the public, so that's uh, where we came up with Project Genesis Coupe. The goal was to build a daily driver that can perform on the track and something our customers can do without extreme modification. There's nothing more punishing than the sport of drifting to demonstrate these uh, traits and show off what the car is capable of doing. So we started this build with the help of our technicians who not only put the car together, but uh, they, they helped in the, uh, the testing and the tuning of the vehicle. They've been very involved in the, in the vehicle's progress. Uh, we've been able to uh, put together this car that you're seeing now. You know, with the popularity of the Genesis Coupe on Guam, you know, several people have come up to me and asked me about uh, putting together a, a Genesis Coupe for, for drifting. And we, we dubbed it the Project Genesis that Tom Akagami took the lead on. And, and it was an exciting project uh, when it first came out. And, and uh, seeing it through the end is, um, is a work in progress. And, and I got a chance to watch it at the racetrack last month and, and seeing the excitement of uh, Tommy driving it. and. Also, a lot of the uh, fans that were there and, and the enthusiasts that were there, uh, I knew it was a it was a project that uh, hit its target. You know, the demographics of a lot of young young uh, drivers out there, and and uh, a rear-wheel drive Genesis worked perfect for it. And it's great for Guam, so it's great for Hyundai. It, it brings up the image of Hyundai, and and we look forward to seeing more and more of them out there. Now, the uh, Project Genesis Coupe is a 3.8 liter V6 model. Uh, equipped with the following parts, an engine cold air intake kit, CP long tube headers, Grady Tice exhaust system, stance performance coilover suspension, a cause two-way limited slip differential, 18-inch Wed Sport SA 55M wheels wrapped with Federal 595 tires, uh, energy deep dish steering wheel and quick release hub, a Synchro G steering, steering angle kit for deeper angles in the drift, a sprint booster throttle controller. We're also gonna be adding a Sequence X front lip spoiler, and side skirts, which are still in route in a bucket seat from Brid. Um, the only fabricated part from the on the vehicle is a um, is the e-brake extension built by JQ Fabrications. The uh, the car came together with the support of sponsors like Proline Automotive Accessories, 671 Spirit Racing, Hoppity Signs, and with the help of JQ Fabrications. Uh, without them, we wouldn't have some of the um, the accessories that we have on the car right now. If you want to take a closer look at that at our Project Genesis or any of the new Genesis uh, coupes that we have, uh, stop by at Cars Plus and Mighty. Our all-new state-of-the-art dealership uh, is here. We'll show you around and also especially the accessories that are available for this model. Uh, it's a great model. It's a popular model and if you look around town you probably see them driving by all the time. So uh, stop, by, uh, stop by the dealership and, and we'll be glad to see you.